Hey, everybody. This is kind of a big day for me, kind of a big deal, kind of a milestone. I haven't done this in a while, and I just want to get right into it and tell about that journey. Years ago, I was doing content, putting it out uh, kind of semi-regular basis. I was getting great feedback, about 97% positivity. Phone was ringing. Uh, I was getting engagements in schools the way that I wanted to, and everything was going great. I was starting to uh, branch off and do some bigger things, and then about 3% of the comments that came uh, said, uh, he's just trying to sound like this individual. Or he's just trying to be like this person. And for some reason, that got to me. And I said, well, let me take 60 days off so that I can look at this, go over my content, see why people are saying that, and come back and, you know, with a different plan. And 60 days turned into six months, into two years, into a few years. And it, it really got to me, but something happened. Uh, the phone started to ring recently and when I answered the phone it was a school and they wanted me to come and do something at their school but they said you were referred to us uh, we checked your social media saw that you weren't really active that you hadn't put out any content in a few years so we just wanted to reach out uh, before we moved on and it was just a blessing that they did that I ended up getting the contract did some good work in the school it was a blessing I, but then the phone rang a couple of more times and one time it was the same story. Uh, you were referred to us, we saw you weren't active, so we wanted to call and see what you were doing. But we got somebody for this year, will you be available next year? After we finish the programming that we're trying to do, give us a call in a few weeks and we'll see where we are. And so I waited, called a few weeks uh, later and they told me that you know the individual that came out with his team, they were so great that we're gonna go with them for the next four years. And that was one of the things that I wanted to do was get a contract in a school where I was repeatedly going back, where I had a, a, an annual contract and I missed out on it because I let those 3% get into my head. And that's when I realized I let those comments, I let the negativity become more important than my wife. I let it become more important than my three daughters. And then I was driving down the street and I saw on a church's billboard, it said, feed your faith and your fears will starve. Feed your faith and your fears will starve. And I had to start telling myself, Derek, you were touching lives. Derek, you felt like you were gifted for this. Derek, there was a majority of a positivity and people that you had a positive influence on. Do not let your fear of being compared or failing to live up to that expectation keep you from doing what you were placed on this planet to do. Then I was on Jim Rohn's page and I saw two things and I wanna leave you with this. He said, don't make these two mistakes. Number one, don't care what they think. And number two, don't think that they care. As always, remember that your purpose is greater and don't let fear keep you from doing what you were purposed to do.